the Sukhoi 30 a two-seater modernised version of the flanker we're all familiar with in DCS. This community mod just came out and it's rather interesting, although much simpler than other big name DCS mods. The Su-30 comes in several flavours with Russian, Algerian, Indian and Malaysian variants of the aircraft. It's based on the Flaming Cliffs 3 aircraft pack, specifically you will need to own either the Flaming Cliffs 3 or the Su-33 to make use of all this mod's features. Because of this, you'll also find air-to-air -air and air-to-ground versions, the air-to-air -air version being based on the Su-33's avionics, giving it radar, EO, air-to-air -air missiles and basic dumb weapons. The air-to-ground version is usable for 100% free, being based on the free Sukhoi 25T avionics. It's got the ability to use similar weapons to our Frogfoot with laser and TV guided missiles and some extra ones like anti-ship or anti-radiation missiles. Despite this, we've got a clickable cockpit with localised versions based on the variant selected. A simple startup sequence with electrical system, engine start and custom HUD and MFD pages represented with both new and DCS avionics within them. Making it a fair step up from a simple reskin of an existing aircraft, but it's not going to be particularly realistic nor something for those of you who want to fly an actual simulation. Many of the pages are very simple with functions missing. It's reasonable, but I hope to see some enhancements, particularly in the textures and systems. Night lighting is great, and lots of the switches have some sort of function all that said. Just don't look at the mirrors. What makes this mod special though is the thrust vectoring. Flick a few switches and suddenly you've got more control authority than sanity. The nozzles deflect at crazy angles, allowing you to pull off some insane manoeuvres, especially for dogfighting. This is fantastic for both getting off a snapshot and for burning all your energy getting into a flat spin. So moderation is the key to using this effectively and resisting the temptation to go full turn rate right off the bat. This is great fun to fight in close, but it doesn't really add much to beyond visual range combat, beyond slightly improved missiles. Dogfighting is honestly where you want to spend most of your time with this mod, but it's not an aircraft for competitive or realistic play. The flight model is unfortunately limited to SFM, simple flight model for now. They are working on an enhanced flight model, which you can actually try out right now with a lure edit, but it's subsonic only and not really ready for use. So don't expect anything fancy the flight model. I found it to be a little bit wobbly and certainly look forward to improvements. The damage model kind of works, but it's full of all kinds of flight model weirdness, including pilot separation separately, requiring you to eject manually twice to get both crewmen out. We've a few new flavours of air-to-air -air missile like the R-27EA, an experimental active radar variant, the R-27EP, a passive aircraft radar homing missile, or the anti-ship missiles, which are supposed to be fire and forget. I assume performing a launch bearing scan and locking on after launch, however when I gave them a go I fired and the missile forgot, missing my target. If you've flown the Sukhoi 25T you'll be familiar with the ground attack systems being essentially a scroll for the targeting pod which is more like a rifle scope really, with most of your attack setup being done visually. Bombs, rockets and guns all work just the same way in both the air-to-air -air and air-to-ground versions, and you can put that thrust vectoring to good use on strafing runs. They've included some pods, but unfortunately they're really just eye candy and cool to look at with no actual function. So air-to-ground is just as capable as a Sukhoi 25, just about load faster. There's a custom RWR page and countermeasure systems with selectable programs and counters, although the audio is still based on the original SPO. We can hop in the back seat too, and with some lure editing it's also possible for multi-crew, but there's nothing really to do back here but watch. The aircraft can do air-to-air -air refueling, and you're going to notice it's got a slow throttle response here, which can take a little getting used to. The radio simulation mimics that of flaming cliffs, so no special programming or tuning is possible just yet. And the same goes to the navigation system. Sadly, there's no documentation to go with the module, aside from a couple of videos by one of the developers, but being based on existing aircraft, this isn't too hard to figure out if you've got experience with flaming cliffs. It would be great to see this addressed sooner rather than later. Overall, it feels rather raw being a mishmash of existing DCS AV Honics and some new ones, but it's an enjoyable little mod, and well worth playing with just to mess around with the frost vectored nozzles in dogfighting. Obviously, we're not going to see a full fidelity simulation of the Sukhoi 30 in DCS, given the classified nature of it, but this mod is a fun little toy to play around with, given the distinct lack of modern Russian aircraft in DCS. I've included in the description a download link and a link to their Discord. 
In the likely event that the link breaks, given the high demand, join their Discord and you'll be able to find the latest version of their mod and the newest download mirrors. I hope you've enjoyed, and take care.